Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Wow, this place is really empty. It's just me and the bunnies. Hello? Why is at home always so empty? Meanwhile at Home Goods, the store is packed. The line is around the corner. Hello everyone, it's Elle, and today I'm gonna visit four home decor stores or stores that sell home decor that we tend to forget or neglect. Why? Maybe it's because of the prices or the location, the vibe, not enough inventory. Let's take a look and see. I truly appreciate you watching. The first home decor store I'm gonna begin with is At Home. One of the pros about shopping at At Home, you can always find parking because the parking lot is always empty. This big box home decor superstore has a variety of vases, chairs, rugs. At Home's inventory is plentiful as well. There are several locations throughout the US. You can shop online, hunt for your pieces, pick them up in the store, they can be delivered. So why do shoppers skip over at home and head to other home decor stores? I believe it's because of the prices. People generally know how much they wanna pay for a specific home decor piece before they go into the store and the competition seems to imply that at home can be overpriced for their items. However, it doesn't deter me from shopping with at home. I just don't like going into the locations. The physical brick and mortar stores are a bit dismal. The store is just too big. There are no windows. It doesn't feel cozy. There are no people. Like even that vase, $34.99, I think that was a bit pricey. So no, I put it back. But you know what? Comment down below and let me know what you think about shopping at at home. And if you want to see more of the store, there'll be tours towards the end of this video. So keep watching. Now, Walmart is one of those big box stores that sells home decor. They don't have a huge selection of home decor, but we all like to look, take a peek, see what they have. Maybe we'll find a dupe or two. Now, me personally, I enjoy shopping at Walmart for home decor, especially for bedding. When you have little kitties like me, you change bedding often. Walmart also carries a good price point for bedding. You can do the higher end, like Better Homes and Gardens, or you can do Mainstay. Walmart is perfect for people that are just moving into a new space and they need quick items, pots, pans, dishes. Walmart is the place to go for home decor on a budget. <laughs> Now, let's take a look at our Pottery Barn dupe at Walmart. It's this black Joshua vase for $12.88. It's a little smaller. It's not as durable or crisp looking as the Pottery Barn version, but if you're on a budget, it will do. It can accomplish that farmhouse look. And a lot of these pieces here have a nice little farmhouse vibe to it, a modern farmhouse, I should say. So Walmart is great if you're shopping on a budget, like I said before. However, they may not have all the items in stock and sometimes online, it's a little hard to find the pieces. So guys, I would say go to Walmart, go to different locations, stock up if you can. And then when you get a bigger budget, go to the higher end stores. Let's 
talk about the Ross shopping experience. Shopping at Ross can be exciting and frustrating all at the same time. Let's just say you found that beautiful chair that can match your home decor perfectly. However, they only have one. What are you going to do? I say, buy that chair, go to another Ross and see if they have a matching chair. If you see something at Ross and you like it or you love it, buy it. Keep your receipts, return it in 30 days if you can't make it work in your home or you can't find a matching piece and get your money back. Ross carries high-end pieces and they also carry high-end dupes. Keep an eye open for Ross. There are many locations. Do a road trip, but you can find inexpensive, pretty, beautiful home decor at Ross when their inventory is stocked. In January, Ross's selection is very slim. However, you can find great sales, things from $7 to $0.49. Cents. Ross's biggest selection of furniture and decorative pieces are in the months of March to October. So the drawbacks to shopping at Ross, sometimes it's hard to find the item that you really want. They don't have an online shopping website and they don't have a great return policy like the 90 day big box stores do. decor and furniture stores that I visit, World Market is at the top of my list for inquisitive and beautiful designed furniture. They have a very cultural vibe. If you're looking for a unique piece or something a little different, a conversation starter, I think World Market is the store for you. Now they also support a great cause they carry artisans pieces and they give back to communities overseas in Asia and Africa. I truly do enjoy my shopping experience when I go to World Market. Some say that World Market can be a bit pricey. However, they do have a point system where you earn credits and you get coupons. And you can get designer pieces at a discount. World Market also has a great online shopping experience. Let's just say they only have one item in stock and you need to get to it or you can't get to it right away. You can call up the location that has that item and ask them to hold it for you and they will hold it for you for more than one day. So I say take a visit online or go into the store. They have a great, great selection of home decor.
Well, everyone, I hope you found this shopping experience inspiring. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.
Wow.